Hi guys, it's Paige Poppy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a watercolor illustration piece that I made a couple months ago and you will see a whole time lapse of the piece here including the illustration and the painting. And I remember that this day I just felt like creating something and I wanted to create something fun, something illustrative, of course. And I basically realized now that I was making my own coloring book page for myself, kind of. So um, I kind of painted in the numbers uh, where I wanted to by drawing this piece for myself. So when I set out to do this, it was definitely like for a personal exercise it was just what I was in the mood to create but I also thought that going into it I was going to be making a final frameable piece that would be kind of fun and doodly but throughout the process I kind of realized that it was just a good exercise in ideation um, it was almost kind of a sketchbook page, but like on a loose, large sheet of watercolor paper. So it ended up just being a way to get a bunch of ideas out on paper, which I always think is more productive than keeping them in your head. So it ended up being a really great exercise for me. Once I was done with this piece, I liked a lot of the individual elements. I just don't, don't think I ended up loving what it looked like as a whole and that's totally fine if i treat it like a sketchbook mentally and sometimes when you're making art you just kind of have to change your thought process behind the piece part way through and i think that's totally cool overall the whole piece as a whole didn't love it but i liked a lot of the elements and i ended up taking some of these elements um digitally separating them out and making other art prints from them and in a moment, I'll show you guys those art prints, but I ended up making two different art prints. One was um, with this eye and leaf motif that you see on the right, and then the other was this rainbow pencil on the left. And I ordered prints of both and added um, one of them to my spring collection. So the eye with the leaf, I ended up loving. I ended up loving the colors I chose and the warm tones and just the whole vibe and the composition of the piece and I released it as a piece, you'll see it here on the screen, in my spring collection, and I named it Sunrise. I actually reached out to my audience on Instagram and asked you guys to help me name the piece, and then I did a giveaway to whoever's name I picked. So I ended up picking uh, the name by a girl named Lily, and she named it Sunrise, but with eyes. So I thought it was a really cute play on words. And this is one of my favorite pieces, possibly my favorite piece from my spring collection that I released just, um, just over a month ago. But the other piece was this one that you see on the screen here. And I ended up ordering prints of it through my printer and everything, I did some five by sevens. And when I got them, I just wasn't as happy with the way it turned out. Um, not from my printer, but just from my own choice of arrangement and scale. And I had kind of like scaled up some of these little sparkly accents and they didn't look as great. But overall, this piece taught me that it was just a really great exercise in getting ideas out. I did end up getting one great print of it that I will probably release and keep in my shop for years to come. Um, one didn't work out as well, but that is all part of the creative process and it was a really great process. I can't think of a better word, but it was a really great exercise and um, of course this is just one painting, but even if it took me 10 paintings to get to this idea, um, it would be worth it to have something that is a finished piece that is really in line with my aesthetic and my colors and I'm really happy with. So. This doodle shows how I arrived at my sunrise piece that is available in my collections. And who knows, it might end up on other products in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this behind the scenes look at my painting process for this doodle here. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so I can share the video with more of you. And if you're new here, I would love to have you as a subscriber. I am a working artist and I share videos on my channel as often as I can. And I'd love to share more with you. Until my next video, I am sending all of my positive and creative vibes your way. And I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.